What's good, you guys? It's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over Gross Beat. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it, what it does, how people use it, and ways to make things sound cool, how to automate Gross Beat so it can come on and off, and you know, the whole thing. Uh, let's jump into it. So, right here we have, oh, actually, already messing up. Got to put the headphones on, you know what I'm saying? All right, missed the main part. Uh, we have this guitar loop that I made real quick. Okay, so all we're going to do is take this guitar loop and we are going to go to the mixer, which I already did. Uh, I don't know why it's called piano, so let's delete that. And just go to link selected channels to this track and then throw a gross beat on it, which I already have. And we have gross beat open. Boom. There's gross beat in its plainest form. There are presets, but I'm going to explain things to you before we get into presets and how to do it. So basically, you have two parameters. You have a green parameter and an orange parameter. Now the green parameter is going to be for time and uh, pitch. The orange parameter down here is going to be for volume. So what I mean by that, uh, if we just play this and we take this, we'll just as if we don't know what it does, and just drag this down. Let's make it a single curve by right clicking, drag this down. See how we're affecting pitch? So let's bring that back and now let's go to the orange and this turns orange. You can see which one you're in by down here, we're on volume slot. And we'll just uh, right click here, drag down, right click here and drag up because we're doing volume. So it's gonna, this is literally like taking the volume knob and going up and down. And if we do uh, make it drastic and then have a huge fallout here, the volume is just gonna cut off. So that's what that does. Uh, so let's go ahead and reset this all. And we're just going to get into uh, a couple things on time and pitch. I really want to just show you guys how to use automation because you can just mess with this all you want. But basically, over here, if you look, if you right click on this tab right here, you have curves, all different types of curves. It's depending on, you know, how you want to uh, make the time do certain things. I'll show you guys what they all do, but you can mess with all these. Usually single curves are the best. Um, and then down here you have your pitch. So if we press down one semitone, it's gonna drop this down one semitone. And what a semitone is, is on the uh, keyboard, if you're at C and you go to C sharp, that's a semitone. If you go to D, that's another semitone. Uh, and down vice versa, there's 12 semitones in an octave. So from C to C sharp is one semitone, from C sharp to D is one semitone. So if we take this and we bring it back up, um, you can click this every time if you wanna go down one semitone or just pay attention, it locks in. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's press play. If we go down four more, so it's an octave. You can get something cool like that. Now, this, uh, you can pitch this differently. So if you want a time stop effect, you know, when the song is going like, din, 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 all you do is take uh, one of these middle circles right here that you see, and you're going to just right click and drag this up. And the, it's going to play along this, and once it goes down here, it's going to drop out and pitch. Now we can make it even more drastic, or we can make it less, and have the whole thing fall out. Now, if we go the other way, and we just right click, it'll reset, and we go down, it's going to pitch up, so it's kind of going to reverse the sound. So there's so many things you could do with this, but basically let's just reset this. So let's drag this back and let's put a marker right here. So right click, put a marker and we're going to drag this, make sure it's on single curve and we're going to just drag this down like two notches and then right click again right here and bring this back up and stick it on this first line. Because how gross beat works is if you see right here, it's kind of the same. It follows. That's what I love about it. Everything kind of follows the same. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Follows the same, let's just say follows the same stuff. <laughs> right here we have light gray, dark gray, light gray, dark gray, right? That is a beat. So this is one beat, two beat, three beat, four beat. If you're in four, four time, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is gonna loop back. You're gonna see it playing. So one, two, three, four. One, two. So if you put a line or a marker on this line right here, it's on the second, um, 
on the second hit of the four count. So the one, two, it's gonna do that effect there. So you kinda wanna stay in between these lines. You can go in between and do like halftime on like the eighth notes, um, which can give you some cool effects. So we'll just mess around with this. So like I said, we'll put one here. So you're gonna hear what it does. It's only gonna affect the first little measure. So the first bar, it's gonna be like boom. And on the, the last three, the two, three, and four, um, I should made three, two, three, and four, it's going to stay normal because you see we have no effect. So we can actually stick another one over here. So right click and then right click again, bring this up. We're just basically gonna manipulate and do the same exact thing. And then we'll leave this one normal. So let's listen to this. So, you know, that doesn't sound that good. So we'll just bring this one down and we will, uh, let's make this last one have like that little tape stop effect. Actually, I think it'll sound better on this one. Let's see. So that's how you can get, you know, a cool effect where it does that tape stop effect on the third. And then on the fourth, it goes back to the normal. Uh, another cool thing we could do is if you right click here, like I said, you have all these options, single curves, which you're usually going to be working in. But let's say if you click this to stare, um, it's kind of going to distort the sound. So this first one, you're going to listen, uh, if you hear, by clicking this one to stare, because the rest of these are at single curve, you're gonna get like this distortion because it's gonna like just mess up the sound. So you know, if we wanted to keep that single curve and then on this one where we have the little tape stop effect, we can go over here and make this one a stare. And then uh, actually, no, that's not gonna work. Because <laughs> I forgot we did that, you can't do both of those. Uh, let's make the last one a stare. So you can get a cool effect like that. Now we can go to the volume knob and you can kind of see in the background, it's like a ghost, uh, like the ghost notes that you have in FL where you can see, you know, uh, what we did with the green. So we're gonna take volume and we'll put one, let's say, uh, let's do a single curve and let's bring this uh, down right here all the way. And then back up let's just kind of you know make anything so let's just go crazy put one here i'm just right clicking these are all single curves um, i'm going in between the notes so on the eighth notes not the uh, quarter notes and let's see how this sounds so this is going to be volume we're probably going to have to bring these down a lot more uh the volume thing you kind of got to bring the volume down a lot in order to have it have an effect that you can actually hear we gotta go crazy. Hold on. Let's bring these way down. So now we kind of have like a side chain effect going on. Um, other than that, you know, you can go in here. There's a bunch of presets. So let's just go to momentary. And we have all these different type of presets. So this, you can have sounds repeat because you go halfway between and then you drag it down. And what that's gonna do is cause a loop. Half speed, like I showed you guys, if you bring it down, we're gonna put in half speed. This is kind of an example of what I gave you guys how to make this earlier. Uh, reverse, if you drag it all the way down. These are better with like automation because when you tell it, you know, if I press start, it comes in late. So if you automate that later on, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, it works a lot better. Uh, and you just, you know, you have all these presets. You can make stairs that go down, but we can take this and or actually let's go with that uh, repeat and let's make this one a stair. And then drag this up like this. And then we will make a line here, you know, something crazy. Let's see what this sounds like. Let's delete that one and let's make uh, let's make this one a single curve. So you, you could just do so many things with this. Um, the main thing I want to show you guys though is how to automate. So let's say we want uh, part of this to be in half speed and part of it to be normal, right? 
So instead of replicating and you know redoing the guitar and then putting this one on there and then like you know making this one oh the guitar that has that all we're going to literally do is we're just going to bring another one over another section and we're going to go to our guitar and we're going to go to grow speed right here so you're going to right click and you're going to do create automation clip so now we have an automation clip right and usually you would go in here okay we're going to turn it off here and turn it on here uh and go here you know but that's to me that's just way too difficult what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going because I only want half of it to be normal and half of it to be uh, in the half speed I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut right here I'm gonna cut it in half on this one I'm gonna make unique and what that does is now this one is different from this so on this one I'm literally just gonna go down here and turn it off right so now it's gonna be off and then once this part comes in it's gonna turn on and we can watch it right here so you see gross B right here boom it's all the way turned down and once that part comes in you're gonna see this turn on you can even go over here and uh, you know reduce this size to here and drag this one out so that it's longer and it only catches the end. That's how I do automations. It makes it super simple. Now let's say on uh, the end of this part, let me turn this off so we can hear it. Um, the end of this part right here, we want it to have that tape stop dropout, right? So let's just bring this over here. See, because when you're working with two different clips, you don't really have to sit here and turn this up and turn this down and do all this crazy stuff. If you want gross beat to turn off after this, just stick, you know, this is like a, the empty track, the turn it off track. Just take this and go, boom, put it right there. And then if you want it to turn back on later in the track, just take the one where it's on and go over here and boom. And you can make a million of these. We could do another one right here and we can make unique and we'll just drag it like halfway down and up with like some weird slant or something like that and then you after that you can tell it to turn back off so you're just using these as clips it's way better than sitting there trying to go through the entire track with the little pen tool and mark it out so like i was saying what we're going to do is we're going to do that little tape stop effect i was telling you guys you know if you want to do that in your song so we're going to go to gross beat and we are going to go to presets default make it normal we're gonna use a single curve and we're gonna drag this down and then we are going to drag the little circle by right clicking pushing up and now we have a tape stop effect and then we are going to let this play out uh, let's drag this back bring this back to how it was and let's take a listen let me see real quick okay yeah so I did have it right so we're gonna have this on the last bar and have this bring over here and then now it's going to play turned off and on the last bar it's going to turn on and it's going to do our little tape stop effect so let's check it out let's just skip right here now if we want it to drop out even quicker we can just bring this over here drag this one out to here make sure it's still turned off the whole way and just go right here and just play with this until we get it how we want so we want like a quick drop off so let's go like this boom now we have the whole song playing and then this little part is just going to oops messed that up this little part is just going to turn on at the last part so it's completely off and then it turns on or now it doesn't want to and hold on what did i do let's see Let me do that again. I don't know why it's being stupid. It was just working. Let me just make it again. Okay, so there we go. So like I was saying, gross beat can be really cool. You can also automate uh, fade outs. You can do fade outs on the song. Let's see, let me just show you guys that really quick. So let's just make a new gross beat so we don't get confused. There's so many things you could do with gross beat. Where is gross beat? All right, gross beat, boom. Let's make a uh, volume right here and let's go fade out. We'll just use the preset and we'll make it a little bit lighter by dragging that up. And then we're going to create automation clip. 
and then we're going to drag this to here so I can see what I'm doing and we're going to have it um, let's see let's cut it in half again the first part we want to be normal but we want the last part to fade out so let's go here let's go make unique so it's not the same as this turn it off on this one and then we're going to have it on here and let's play it and it's going to turn on growth speed and start to fade out watch it's going to turn on right here Have it more drastic drop out like this have it super crazy so where our volume is just cutting or do let's do anything let's just click everywhere let's see what happens um, boom so our first part's unaffected because we have it off like I said see this part's off this part's on it's gonna I don't even know what's gonna happen let's just see let's add some more anything let's just go crazy well, let's use a preset let's see what this does so it's turned off and then we have it turned on right here and then we can go right here uh, shorten that and then drag the one where it turns off and it's just gonna turn it off so that's a way you can automate growth speed uh, way you could use growth speed just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview most people know how to use growth speed or you just use presets but I really wanted to show you how to use the automation for growth speed uh, because sitting there you know if you have a full track you know just to, let me just try and make this seem like what I'm talking about let's say you have an entire beat you know and you have this whole envelope of turning on and off growth speed and then right here you want to turn it on and then you come over here and you turn it off but you don't want, you know, trying to mess with these markers or this gets messed up. And then one day you accidentally just, boom, delete that. And it's just like, damn. But if you have it to where you just have one that's off and then you go over here, make another one, make unique so it doesn't affect this one. And then turn it on. Now you have a on button and an off button. So you can literally take these and just do whatever you want. You can have it off for a bunch of bars and then turn it back on over here. It makes it so much easier. You're not worrying about things. You're like, oh, I want growth speed on on the 30 second bar. Someone's like, hey, halfway through the song, make it go half speed. You could literally just take your on button and go boop. And then after that, they say for five minutes, or not five minutes, for five seconds, do that. And then bring it back to normal. And you just take your off button and stick it right there. Boom, and it's gonna cut off. So that is a super simple way to do it. How to use growth speed, how to use automation with growth speed. If you guys did like this tutorial, comment, like, rate, and subscribe to the boy. I'm going to keep the tutorials coming. I've been covering everything you guys have wanted me to cover. Um, you can find me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram on here. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you do support and you do like these videos, thumbs it up. Subscribe to the family. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Mm -hmm.